Did you know that you can now enjoy Wii U classics like The Legend of Zelda, Mario Kart 8, and Super Mario 3D World right on your Android device? With the CMU Android emulator, you can experience these iconic games on the go. In this video, I'll dive into how CMU's consistent updates, bug fixes, and audio improvements make the gameplay smoother and more enjoyable than ever. And if you're looking to stay updated, you'll find all the latest information on GitHub. Stick around to learn how to get the best performance and enjoy your favorite Wii U titles right from your phone. If you find this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to hit the bell button for notifications. The Nintendo Wii U gave us unforgettable games with impressive visuals. And now, thanks to the recent release of Simu for Android, you can enjoy those iconic titles on your phone, offering gameplay at high resolutions. In this video, we'll explore how you can turn your Android phone into a portable Wii U and play some of Nintendo's best titles anywhere you go. Let's dive in and make your Android the ultimate Nintendo experience. First, download the latest version of Simu from its official GitHub page. Many of my viewers have asked about the requirements for CMU, so here's a quick rundown. You'll need an Android device running Android 11 or higher, and while that's the minimum, a more powerful device will make a big difference, especially for demanding Wii U games. Once it's downloaded, install the emulator and open it. The first time you open the emulator, you will see an empty screen because we haven't added any games yet. Click on the gear icon in the top right corner to access settings. Open general settings and select add game path. Navigate to the location in your internal storage where you've stored your Wii U games. To allow CMU access, click use this folder and grant permission. Next, go to input settings. Here you'll find several control options, allowing you to select input profiles like Wii Gamepad, Pro Controller, Classic, and Wiimote. However, note that there is currently no option for customizing the control layout. In graphics settings, there are limited options available, but you can enable V-Sync for smoother visuals. If you prefer playing in full screen, activate Stretch under Full Screen Scaling. There's no need to adjust the audio settings, as this update has fixed audio delay issues. In the Graphics Pack section, click the Download button at the top right corner to install essential packs. Under Overlay Settings, you can enable the CPU and RAM usage display, which helps in monitoring performance. Now return to the main screen. You should see your games listed. If you don't see any games, you may need to add the prod keys. Just open the SAMU folder, drop the latest prod keys into it, and that's it. You should now see all your games displayed. It's worth mentioning that SAMU supports either physical game dumps in WD or compressed WX formats, as well as game dumps converted to the Lodeen format. Currently, the emulator has some limitations, but can easily run 2D and low-end Wii U games. Hopefully, future updates will enhance the emulator, allowing us to enjoy a fuller Nintendo Wii U experience on Android. Overall, I'm quite satisfied with this update as Semu for Android has made significant progress, even though it's still in its early stages. Some essential features such as advanced graphics settings, orientation control, aspect ratio adjustments, and full control customization are still missing. Additionally, there's no official compatibility list yet, so it's uncertain which games run smoothly or need further optimization. However, the Semu development team is actively working on updates, and future releases should address these gaps so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me create more content like this. See you in the next one.